Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to tell you what are the new updates which is present in Filmora 11.5 or 11.6. The new features which they have added in Filmora, I am going to tell you about all the features in this video. So first of all, click on this new project option. The download link of this software is available in the video description. So let's check it out. First of all, I am going to tell you that you have the bunch of new features in it you just have to import your media file here as i am going to add some media file here as you can see i am at i have added a video here so if, if i click on this you can mm, check a quick split mode here so whenever you want to split your video you just have to click on it this option and you will find a split video here as you can see i have split it from two to three sections here so this feature is also very helpful in video editing and if i delete want to delete this part i just look on this delete button so the other option is that you can also add the color correction it and remove the curves so just right click on it and click on this color correction option here is a color correction of options and you can also adjust according to your own need so you can also remove the curves here and you can also change the light color 3d and and white balance also so this is very helpful feature in filmora 11.6 the other option is that if you have a voiceover and you want to convert it into, into the text hey guys welcome to my channel techwise in this video i am going to tell you about filmora 11.6 new update as you can see i have a voiceover here and if i click on this option as you can see i have a subtitle here and if i click on this option and i want to convert it into the it also stored the SRT files now. The other feature is that you can also add the effects and the time clock options are uh, also available here. Here you can see the 50 new timer clock options and you can also add it into your video and uh, make a professional videos with Filmora 11 the other feature is that you can also import your media files not from this stock media but also your cloud storage if just you have to click on this file and import media option and you just have to click on the import from other apps and then you can also add the your files from google drive OneDrive, and dropbox also so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button comment down below if you have any questions Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.